Hey, so Digitech next semester, what are we teaching? What is this class about? Well, in digital tech, we're going to be learning about networks. <gasps> Networking like dating networks, social networks, that's what I like. Mm, not quite. No? We're, no, not oh. those kind of networks. Oh. We're going to be learning about networks, about how computers talk to each other, about the security behind making sure that when networks talk to each other that we keep things secure. So, right. yeah. Okay. What else? Are we doing anything else in Digitech? We're going to be learning about um, data and problem solving. Oh, I've got lots of problems. i got 99 problems, in fact. Not quite. Not those kind of problems. Oh. Our kind of problems are things that we're going to solve using technology. So picking up a keyboard and solving that problem? Not quite either. No. no, we're going to be using the actual computers like programs and coding to be able to solve problems and right. solutions in the real world, yeah. Right, okay. Okay, that sounds cool. What yeah. else? Hopefully by the end we'll have something which, you know, we can create something that might look a little bit like an app or a little bit like, um, you know, some sort of code that we can see move. Excellent. That sounds really fun. Anything else that we're doing in this class? We're also going to be creating solutions using coding and learning how to program things and hopefully producing something, some sort of program that's going to be, um, we can be proud of. That we can use in our everyday life? Yeah, exactly. Awesome. That sounds really cool. Is that all this Digitech class is about? That's a lot, but is there anything else? Well, one of the things which we're also going to look at is citizenship and how using technology comes with some responsibilities and a way of acting. We've talked about that in Haas. I know what that's about. Do I have to make an application though, like to be a citizen of Australia or be born in the digital world? In our citizenship, if we talk digital citizenship, it means everyone because we all use digital technology. So I don't have to like make an application to be a citizen like I would of Australia. Absolutely not. Oh, Every single person dude. is a digital citizen. Hey, hey. Yeah. I like that idea. Mm -hmm. This sounds like it's going to be a good class. Learn more at Digital Tech. Pick this subject. So in photography, we're going to be learning all about the shutter speed and aperture and how to get the best shots out of our cameras. We're going to be learning about lighting, composition, and be doing all sorts of fun things around the school with our cameras. We'll use your camera. We'll also dabble a little bit in Photoshop with photo editing, manipulating our photos as well. Okay, in photography, I'm going to show you how to use the newer versions of these. We'll learn all about how they work, how to use a camera, how to take a good photo. And this is a photo I took earlier. Right, so next semester, hopefully you'll choose dance with me. We're hoping to secure a new dance hip-hop teacher to come in and show you some busting moves like what Mr. Basto is demonstrating in the background. We're going to look at dance choreography, best, how it's used within dance with unison and canon. And then we're going to look at the evolution of dance and dancing from different cultures within society and why it's used. Alright everyone, in music this term, we'll be learning the classics uh, with a little bit of this and a little bit of that and you shake your tail uh, But we could learn a bit of this It's a long way to the top if you want to rock and roll Maybe this is more your style. Beaver! Oh yeah. Or the drums. We can go the drums. <laughs> Musical instruments aside, you do need to learn the basics first. So we're going to be learning some music theory, how to read music. So you will need to do this stuff, learn what all these sort of notes mean, even a little bit of tab. Um, learning how to make your own music. Uh, we're going to use GarageBand to compose using different technologies. And even music can be made out of anything. So we might even use buckets or uh, anything that you can use to make a sound. It could be your voice, you can sing, you can rap. I used to be a rapper, I worked in Myers, then I went to Bo Repairs fixing tires. 
Um, any way you look at it, music is going to be fun. The big thing you are going to need to remember though, is that you're going to have to be ready to perform. Singing, playing, and having fun.